Hey guys, back. New video. I've got a lot of pops to show you here. I will show you this bag. This is a very large Audi bag. This is overflowing with pops. I've just picked up 18 pops for £50. <laughs> Another Facebook marketplace steal, so let's not mess about. Let's get into this. Let's get it done. So, first off, the Superman Soldier uh, from Batman vs Superman. Not much to say about this, it's a pretty standard pop, it's pretty common, fine. A lot of this I'm probably going to sell, some of it I'll keep, it's, it's a lot. Next up, Superman. So, Superman from Batman vs Superman as well. So there he is in all his flying caping glory. So I've got this one already in the two pack here. It's metallic in there. Don't want to really keep that one, but it's Superman, Superman soldier. I can sell them together. Next, oh, where do we go? This one, Daredevil. So this is Daredevil from the TV show. Um, if you haven't watched it, watch it, it's fantastic. Second series not so great, well some of it was, some of it wasn't. Third series was very good. Um, some of these boxes, like this, there's a quite a dent on the top, there's a tear on here. I mean these two boxes weren't too bad but this one seems to have taken a bit more of a, a hassle. That I quite like, I quite like the series, I quite like Daredevil as a character, I quite like the pop, it's quite cool. Next up we have, yar, Foxy the Pirate. Um, number Five Nights at Freddy's, so if you saw my last video, link up there. Um, I got a Twisted Fox, which is down behind me. Um, so I'll sell these two together, this box bit dusty but decent condition it's obviously had some someone stuck some sellotape on the bottom here but it's a five nights at freddy's so the game's quite popular so i'm sure that won't hang around for too long uh, next we have from the first film obviously because spoilers he died i think i can't remember um it's valentine from Kingsman Secret Service. This one I'm not too sure about whether I'm going to keep or not. It's quite a cool one. Everyone loves Samuel L. Jackson. Um, that's the range that's come from there. So you've got Eggsy, you've got the Gazelle with the fake feet, um, and you've got Harry there as well. So very often you get a Colin Firth pop. But Samuel L. Jackson as a pop. It's quite cool. Now we get into the horror section with Freddy Krueger. Um, yeah, not much to be said about this. Box has obviously been taken out at some point because there's dents on the top there. It was just Freddy on there, so it's quite an older pop. Um, 2016, so actually not as old as I thought. Box is it's in alright condition, I think. if. I wanted to keep hold of it then I'd prefer a different box but I think the horror ones I'm probably going to get rid of because next up and I might give this one to my niece because my great grand niece great great niece my niece's kid looks like Chucky um, <laughs> so yeah so we've got Chucky there from Child's Play 2 as well um, I know they've done a few Chuckies now, so again, box, decent condition. Uh, again, another 2016 one, but it's actually quite a cool little pop. I am a little worried it's going to come alive in the middle of the night and try and kill me though. So I might get rid of that. Um, so yes, yeah, so what have we got now? Seven. So many pops, guys. So many pops. Um, next, Jason. Jason Voorhees. Um, 
It's quite a cool pop. I'm not sure if this is a glow in the dark one without the sticker because the mask is very yellow. Um, so I might have to check that and just see what the situation is along with that one. Um, it's number one, Freddy's number two, so it's obviously a, a horror reset. Um, this one could be classed as a horror character because no one really liked him. It's the Joker from Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad had a massive range on the back there. There was a load of characters in the film. I didn't mind the film myself, but... I mean, there's quite a good little bit of detail in with the tattoos and stuff that no one really wanted. Um, but, again, box, decent nick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether I'd want to keep hold of that one or not. Um, next up, he's back. It's Captain America. Um, Civil War Captain America. I've recently had this and sold it. I sold it with my Giant Man and Iron Man with the helmet open. This one is in much better condition than what that was, so I'm happy to know that I can get rid of this one. He's got the shield on the back. I don't know if you can make that out at all. Um, yeah, Captain America. <sighs> right, so there's eight now. There's eight more pops in the box, or in the bag. So we'll carry on the horror theme. Hannibal Lecter. Um, this, I like. I like this pop. It's cool. Um, they've gone with the mask. They've gone with the trolley. They've strapped into the straight jacket and everything as well. I feel like they could have made an entire range. There's only this one from this. From Silence of the Lambs. They could have had... Was it Jodie Foster? So they could have had... I think it was Jodie Foster. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I probably am. I've seen Silence in the Lambs once in my life, and I've seen bits while I was a kid. Uh, I can't remember. I know Julianne Moore was Jodie... I'm sure it's Jodie Foster. But I'm sure Julianne Moore was in one of the later ones. But, again, Anthony Hopkins is a pop. Really cool. I think he's worth quite a bit as well. I'll put him in... Um, I'll put in the description the total of what I've got here. There's a new app that's just come through that Funko UK guys just done a video for. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm downloading that. Check Stashpedia, Funko Price Guide, usual things I do. I'll give you guys an average of what I've got here. Um, next horror. Billy! Um, Billy the Puppet from Saw. Again, there was one of these on a bicycle. Um, and I think they did glow in the dark ones, and obviously this was just classed as this one from this range. Um, but this box is pretty much perfect. Um, a slight rip on the top, on the tab there. So I think the woman that I bought these from said they were all her sons, who was 12, I think she said, 11 or 12, um, liked bad guys. So you can kind of get that from this entire side. Um, Freddy, Knights of Freddy's, obviously you've got the Joker, Valentine's a bad guy. But saying that, what I've got left in the bag are all heroes now, so... So first up, for the rest, Leonardo. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I have the whole range of these. Uh, I have them out of the box. They were all... Oh, that's quite cool. Um, <laughs> I bought them all from China. Um, and they, it was all four of them. I think I paid five quid. Uh, and then sold them all. I think I sold the three of them for 28 or 30 pound. Um, part of me kind of regrets that because I do like turtles. They were part of my childhood. This is getting taller. Um, don't fall. But again, that box is in decent condition. I didn't get the rest of the turtles in this pack, unfortunately. Um, but what I did get is Batman. Batman from the Dark Knight Re Trilogy, this is just classing it. Um, so I think this is... This might actually be the original suit, looking at that, rather than the head turny suit. It's The box is in good condition, so they've got the two Jokers, um, 
one of them's worth a lot of money. I don't know how much the Batman is worth. I don't think it's worth much, but again, if you check with down bottom of the box is loose. Um, <laughs> standard procedure for me these days. Um, yeah, check. I'll check that out. Check down below. See what the prices are. So I've got four left now. Three of them are all from the same kind of range. So I'll give you those first and then we'll leave the last one till last. That's how these things work. First off, we have Peter Parker. Um from Spider-Man Homecoming. So there was a good range with these. I actually had the opportunity when I was in America last year to buy this in the Disney outlet stores. It was $10 reduced to. So I think as standard over there, they were about 12, I think they're 12 to $20, depending on what you're getting. Um, so he's got a little rucksack in there so he may have the spider-man suit in it um but yeah this is peter parker they had the few there from from the range um so i could have picked up the vulture and peter parker the only one i really want from that range though other than one of the ones that's in here is tony stark um so unfortunately tony stark is not in this box so this one is open this one is also from homecoming it's the homemade suit um, being that it's open, I may as well get it out. Um, it's not, it wasn't quite well in the box either. Um, the box, this has just been shoved back in. You can tell that there's a rip on there. The, the kind of side is quite bowed. So the box, it's not the worst box I've seen, but it could be better. Um, But here's the bop. Um, homemade suit. I like this. Very much like the Scarlet Spider suit. I like the Scarlet Spider suit. And the original one. Which was red sleeves blue hoodie. Um, but that's quite cool. I like that. Of all of them. That's the one I'd probably want to keep the most. But that's not going to sit very well there. So I'm going to put them down here. <laughs> Just to be honest. So that's not going to stand very well anywhere, <laughs> because that's now at my feet. Um, he's okay though. Um, let's just put him back in the box, because he's not going to stand it. So, homemade too. <laughs> Nightmare. So I think you can probably guess what's left. Spider-Man. So obviously the standard suit, the Tony Stark suit he got given in Civil War. Um, cool little pop. He's got the web shooters, um, similar kind of box and everything. Again, box is, it's all right. It's still got this kind of curved side here rather than a clean edge. So I don't know whether that's because it's pre-owned or whether it's just that's what it was. Oh, it's a long way up. Oh, right. Well, you can't even see that anymore. <laughs> right. The last one, um, which will sit on the top here as well. Um, this is a range that I know some of these are worth quite a lot. It's WWE, it's John Cena. So I think the box is in very good condition on this. There's a slight tear on the front corner. Um, but the range, Daniel Bryan, Triple H, The Macho Man, and The Undertaker. I know The Undertaker and The Macho Man are worth quite a bit, and the original Triple H is as well. I'm hoping John Cena is as well because this could make me quite a bit of money if it is. Because um, it's number one in the range as well. So I think, yeah, you can see the, the rip there. You can see the rip there. Um, so yeah. Oh dear. Don't fall down. This is the thumbnail, guys. <laughs> that 
is now an empty bag. The nice lady I paid £50 to let me keep the bag as well. So that's very nice. Um, I did take a box with me. If you're going to go and pick stuff up off Facebook, which if you've watched if you watch my video, I've done quite a bit. Always take a box with you or a bag if there's only one or two. Because you don't want it rolling around in the car or anything like that. And you don't want to take bags off people. Um, I didn't. I said to her, I was like, I can take this out. I can stick it in a box and put it in the car. And I can give you your bag back. She was like, no, it's fine. You've made my life easier. My son can now go and buy a tracksuit that he wants. So, keep the bag. Um, so yeah, 18 pops. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and then those two. I've got eighteen pops. They were fifty pounds. They worked out two pounds seventy-seven each, which is an absolute bargain. Um, some of them are going to get sold. They may go back on Facebook. They'll, I'll try eBay first. But what do you think? Comment below. Um, if you've done anything like this before, gone and picked up a considerable amount of pops for not very much money, I'd like to hear what you got. Um, if you like the video, obviously hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. If you have subscribed already, hit the bell. You'll get notified next time I go crazy and blast a load of money on Pops. <laughs> um, I've got another one in the post at the moment. I think I need to pick it up in the post office later, so that'll be a separate video of itself. That'll be a much shorter video than this. Uh, thanks very much, guys. See you real soon.